Hey everyone, this is Digital Ghost, and I'm here to show you guys how to use client server MAME to play arcade games online with your friends. Um, this is, uh, first thing we need to do is forward this port 5805 to your machine. Uh, a lot of games have this problem, this port forwarding thing, so you can just kind of look it up on the internet. This is just a screenshot from my router, and I'm forwarding it. That was my IP. So, next thing you need to do is download client server MAME. I've downloaded it right here. Went ahead and put some ROMs in there, I won't talk about that, but uh, <laughs> we'll uh, open up a command prompt. A lot of people have talked to me about using GUIs, like integrating it with the GUI. I'm interested in that, but I don't know much about that, so uh, if anyone has any info, just let me know. So you type CMD here, it's going to open up a command prompt. Go to the programs, client server main directory, <clears throat> and then vmame.exe dash cc that's going to create a config file so that dash cc does that's what this i i file is and i just created open this guy up so look at these options um, by default client server name is uh, window and not maximized um, this is that you can kind of look at this command prompt this kind of tells you some of the information i've started to integrate it in with the main user interface but it's not 100 percent so you want to kind of have an eye on this at least in the beginning so you get familiar with it one other thing you want to look at is the miscellaneous options. These are all new options to client server main. And I'll get into these in more detail later. So that's okay. So let me go ahead and open a second one. Now to start a server, what you're going to do is Put in the ROM you're interested in. I'll do some Mortal Kombat 2 slash or dash server. That's going to start a server. Okay. Let me put this guy over here. There are errors in the CMOS, whatever. It says that the first time you start it up, it's kind of configuring. So now we got Mortal Kombat 2 up and running over here. What we want to do is vmain. That's what the server will do. The client do the same thing except dash client and then you also have to say where you want to go like where is the server located so in this case I'm going to put in um, site address and I have the port forwarded so it's going to bounce from this guy that address to my computer so now what's going on the server is giving the client the entire RAM of the game see this takes a uh, long time and so in this case, you know, I'm doing it over essentially LAN or over my own computer even, and it still will take a while. So uh, that's something to just kind of consider. But, uh, you know, the advantage is that uh, you don't have to worry about desyncs. Now, as soon as you connect, things are going to be a little weird because it had to deal with the whole downloading of the RAM, and it gets kind of a little confused. We just have to be patient in a little bit here. There we go. Now we are synced up. And what it will continue to do is continue to keep the games in sync while you're playing. So I'm actually going to play with the client window here and uh, let the server just kind of follow along. Uh, I'm terrible at this game, so um, I'm probably going to get my ass kicked. I, I don't think I've made it. Yeah, I haven't even made it past like the second person. That's how bad I am at this game. Um, you have this user interface for the... Um, shows you your ping and shows you the how much data you're transferring. If you don't like it, you can hit N. That gets rid of it. Now I can see how bad I'm getting my ass kicked on my health bar. Actually, I'm doing pretty good. Oh, no. So you can put N back on so I don't have to see how bad things are going for me. Um, if there were other people in the game, I could, you know, other humans, I could talk to them by hitting T and then typing in something like hello. Jax is not going to respond. He's just going to beat me like a schoolgirl. Oh, yeah. There we go. Jax wins. Okay, so... <clears throat> That's basically the idea. Now what's going on, let's go to the windows here. Uh, send in chat, hello. Well, you see client is clean. What that means is that the client and the server have both simulated the same uh, result. And so nothing uh, bad has to happen there. Like you don't have to go back in time and figure out what it went on. Let's move on to a different game. Let's go to WWF WrestleFest. Now this game, because of because of uh, I think the 
state saves aren't complete. I'm not sure what quite is going on there, but it has to resync every time. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, the client and the server deviate. And this is the kind of thing that, you know, over time it accumulates these deviations and that's what causes server desyncs and, um, you know, other, other network programs to fall apart. So, as you can see in the beginning, just like Mortal Kombat, we're, we're out of sync and this sounds crazy. But uh, eventually things kind of get sorted out and reconciled. The important thing is to be patient. I mean, this is an expensive process. And there we go, now we're in some big store box. So, the thing to notice here is I'll give myself some buttons. It'll be Mr. Perfect. The Perfect Flex. Is that the client will resync every time. You'll see this little kind of burp, and it'll kind of see this hiccup. That's not yeah, see right there? We got out of sync. That's because of an issue. The state saves aren't complete. I'm not quite sure what's going on with this ROM, but a lot of uh, some ROMs have this issue where you have to do it. That is where these values come in right here. So, you know, the host name and the port, uh, you don't need to mess with those since you're typing in the host name yourself, anyways. But these right here are important. The seconds between sync, that's how many seconds in between a sync between the server and the client. So 30 seconds means every 30 seconds you're going to get that hiccup, that beep, you know. The second number, sync transfer seconds, that's how many seconds it will take to transfer the data. So if, if you pick, let's say I pick zero for this, which means it'll take no time, or I pick one second but I play a game like Mortal Kombat that has a lot of graphics, a lot of data moving back and forth. What's going to happen is the server is going to get bogged down trying to send the synchronization too fast. So you want to, you need to kind of find a happy medium here depending on how complex the game is and how often the game goes out of sync. As we saw with WWF WrestleFest, the game was out of sync constantly and it's a very simple game so the uh, synchronization, there's not a lot to synchronize, so I'm going to set this to zero. And so what you'll see, we'll start this guy back up again, is that it'll be much smoother. Um, it's still going to be doing the sync every 30 seconds, but th because it takes zero seconds to send the data, um, it's going to uh, reconcile much quicker, and it's not going to have to go back in, pa in, the, in the past as well. As well. So I'm actually going to start with you know, there are some ways to reconcile this, but I think I'm going to do a couple of quick things. I can try to play. Player 2, so that's kind of cool. So let's give myself some credits. This game is unique in that only the server, there's only one coin slot, so the server has to put coins in for everybody. But most games aren't like that. You know? and see right, you see right there is we went out of sync, resyncing, but you barely even noticed. There wasn't a hiccup or anything like that. So this game is very playable in this state. So now, one other thing I'm going to talk about before I let you guys go. Uh, we can close this window. Let's see, I have this program Net Limiter. And so I'm going to pretend like I have a 40 kilobyte connection, which is, you know, most cable modems now they do, I think, 80 or 100 or something. So 40 is pretty pretty conservative, so let's go with that. I'm going to play Mortal Kombat, and we want to set this to a reasonable amount, like maybe 10, maybe 15, we'll see, 10 should be sufficient. But you want that to be pretty high, right? Because you think Mortal Kombat's a big game, it's changing. It's got a lot of graphics, it's changing frequently.
See, now what you see is that this is an extremely slow process. Um, we're looking at some ways of kind of speeding this up, but I don't know. I've tried some things that didn't quite work the way they were supposed to, and uh, I think overall, you know, initially, I mean, the server might have been running for days by the time you connect, so you have to be able to kind of capture where the server is in an absolute way, not a not a relative way like you do with these small sinks that the server is shooting out. So you kind of need the whole thing. And so that's that's time consuming. Well, I'm going to I'm going to turn off the rate just for now just to get the uh Nexus thing shooting up now. It's sending 500 kilobytes a second. Okay, there we go. I'll turn it back on. So now the client and the server are out of sync and you're only transferring 40 kilobytes a second. So we'll see what happens here. What's going to happen is the updating sync check, that means the server started sending us a sync, but you see it hasn't gotten to us yet. Now the sync got to us. Now the client went back in time to when the server sent the sync, you know, 10, 11, 12 seconds ago, went back in time to that time, uh, you know, replaced its memory with what the server said it should be, and then fast forwarded 11 seconds to come back to the present. So that's why you see that, that hiccup there, that jerk. Um, so, you know, it's kind of a trade-off. You have to play with these numbers a little bit uh, for different ROMs and kind of find a, a, a place that works for you. I think these numbers are pretty good as long as your ROM, um, you know, can sync correctly and has complete safe state support. Some of these older ROMs, you, know, you might have to drop this down. So that's it. I uh, hope you guys have fun playing some arcade games online.